Hello, this is Adrian from Sister Harlem's Library, and here is a book haul for me. So, the first book that I have is one of my favorite books of 2024, which is The Oath from T.M. Richardson, who is known by as Tati Richardson on TikTok, but T.M. Richardson um, for the books. And this book was done in a special um, edition from Steamy Lit. And so came like this. That's what the front looks like. That's what the back looks like. And so if you don't know, if you somehow do not know what the oath is about, the oath is about a um, woman who unfortunately in the first chapter you learn that she is watching her husband die from cancer um, and they have been together since college so they were college sweethearts and he has three best friends male best friends and upon her um, upon them leaving the service and the repass um, they say to her that he has given instructions for them to take care of her in every which way. And you see how my face looks. <laughs> and it is in every which way. Um, and so she's like, no, I don't believe you. And he has left a recording behind for her to know that it is true. And it is up to her whether or not she actually is going to do it. But he did not want her to be lonely. And he trusted his three best friends to make sure that she was fine. If she needed money, if she needed any, anything, um, you know, advice about investments or anything like that, he knew that his um, friends would help him um, with doing that help her with doing that and also in other areas so um, this is a very good book and it is the first of three books um, the first is the oath the second one is the offer that features the cousin who is mentioned in here um, and she gets her own book in the offer which I loved also <laughs> <laughs> so um, if you follow me on Goodreads, which is just Sister Harlem on Goodreads, you'll see I did um, reviews for both of these books. And I love, 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 love this series. Okay. Definitely in my top five of the year. Okay. So I think I'm going to reread this so I can tab it. But it's very pretty. And... Then I got, and this all came yesterday. Then I got two Waterstone books. So the first one is Tigess Germa, and I'm hopefully I'm not butchering her name. And I decided because a lot of people were getting the American version, I wanted to be different and get the UK version. So this is Immortal Dark. And to me, it's pretty. And the end pages aren't as, fa aren't as fancy, but they're pink. And then this is what the actual book looks like. So you might say, oh, it's fancier with the other book. That's true, but I thought this was pretty also. And um, comes with the different reviews from different places. And who doesn't love a good map? And uh, I am a huge, 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 huge vampire. Person. I love vampires. Um, I love werewolves too, but I love to read a good vampire book. 
And everything that I'm hearing about this book makes me happy. So I am hoping that I will not jump on the bandwagon, but I will also love um, this book also. So this book I will read shortly. And you know, there's a never ending TBR, which means this kind of is jumping some other books. But that's the way the cookie crumbles in my TBR world. Oh, but I don't think it's just me. It might just be some other people. So then I also got, and this is signed by the author. Yeah, this one is signed by the author. This is um, Ending Fire, The Ending Fire, which is the third and final book in the um, in the series by Sarah. L. Aurel. I just totally butchered that. I know I did. But, so this is the way it looks. Orange, which is my favorite color. Orange and red are my favorite colors. So, sprayed edges. This is what the back looks like. Then, when you open it, look at this. Look at this. She pretty, and you know this is plain, but that's okay. She's so pretty. Yes, I'm naming the book she. She's so pretty, and the back is the same. Okay, it's not any different. And let's see. Oh, in case you wanted to see the signature, this is the signature. think anything else oh wow you know just a good old map <laughs> and who doesn't love a good old map not once has that been have I said that okay and um yeah I will be reading this um this is one of the books that I believe Brandy is in her book club or reading, which means I'm going to be reading it very shortly, actually, before the Mortal Dark. Um, and then, uh, I know I did post this somewhere, but I just wanted to show you all. I went to the Harlem Book Fair, and I met a few authors, but this particular author um, is a black romance author from Birmingham, Alabama, and she has a series, and I bought all three books. And so um, the first one is A Thin, Thin Line Between Lust and Love. The second one is A Thin Line Between Sex and Lies. Excuse me, and the third one is a thin line between regret and redemption. And yes, it does feature um, a lot of the same characters. So it's a continuation. And unlike some people, I actually love series. Um, and these books are not big. Now, <laughs> not big is not big for me because as you saw, the other two books, I um, like to read tomes. So, you know, especially in my fantasy and some of my romance have been um, big as of lately. Um, well, maybe urban fiction, but these are not big. So um, I should go through those fairly quickly. Um, I got a very nice, actually right now, I don't know where the other one is, huh? But this is one of the bookmarks I got. And I have another one, which is longer, and it's purple. And what do you know? I found it. So this is the other bookmark. Isn't it pretty? I love the detail on it. And it does have a little weight to it. Um, so I really like that. So I'm definitely going to be using that. And um, bookmarks are one of my favorite things. I have a, I have a problem. I really 
really do love to have um, pretty bookmarks. So if you're a person who makes bookmarks, let me know because um, I really, really love bookmarks and I use them. I do not dog ear my books at all. I really hate that. So I definitely use bookmarks. So I got one manga book. Um, I heard in one of the lives that this is supposed to be good. So it's the first volume. She loves to cook. She loves to eat. So I will be reading that. And then I had to get my Beautiful Sorrows book. Um, I am not a nonfiction reader except for there's exceptions. So the biggest exceptions are mem memoirs. And I had to get Justice Katanji Brown Jackson's book. So um, it's called The Lovely One, which is, if you don't know, what her name translates to okay so her name um is african and so it translates to lovely one so i definitely cannot wait to read that and so right now that's all i have <laughs> the other books that i have i'm waiting for some books to come but i definitely have others that are actually on my kindle so i might do a haul about you know about those later but right now that's all thank you for watching please click the like if you like this video and also um get other people to watch it and if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing thanks bye bye